about it kwa hiyo second hour ya JC Sako wase wa notebook masando yenu sasa hiyo mm -hmm. notebook umefikiwa umef... nyinyi ndio <laughs> <laughs> wase wa notebook umefikiwa <laughs> Guys, tunacheka hapa ni pasi ameisha ame. <laughs> Sijui kama atakumbuka notes zake akicheka hivi. <laughs> Guys, Mr. Kevin Kim Career has joined us today to help us discuss this issue of time. Mm -hmm. Him he has an history of dealing with students and just working with students, mm -hmm. mentoring young people. You know, there's nothing as hard as mentoring a teenager. But mm -hmm. ujama mehak. Mm. <laughs> Pasi ya mehaka. So he'll be telling us more about him. He's here, Pastor Kevin Karibu Sana. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> Ibaraka, it's a blessing being here. Ah, we are mm. honored with, with your presence. You Maju, just don't me, know. Me check and get, <laughs> it's the joy of the Lord. Where, Pasi? Where? All right. Otherwise, we coffee tea? Kabisa, na shukuru. Ka karibu Sana, JC. It's a blessing mm. being here today. Mm. Ka intro, intro fit. Intro, intro Mzito, come a man of God. <laughs> Very nice intro. So um, mm. I'm Kevin Kipkorir, mm. Pastor Kevin Kipkorir, I'm born again. I am married mm. to one wife who is a woman. Mm -hmm. It's always good to specify it's that. It's very important to clarify. Yes. Yeah, mm. so she's called Mimo or Margaret Kipkorir. Uh, above it all, I am a mentor. Yes. I am a leadership uh, coach. Mm. Um, and now I thank God. Mm -hmm. That's basically, um, I'm a retired teacher. You are? Yes, I was, mm -hmm. a, I was a teacher for eight years. Ah, that's the part I did I, for eight years. I, I, <laughs> that's at least you may get. You are a teacher? Yes, I was a teacher no, for eight years. No. I taught for eight years. Once a teacher, always a teacher. Very no wonder, well. but you know, you call students. <laughs> After we talk about it, you know, the calling is still there. Kabisa. It is, is really evident Kabisa, to you. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, so that's briefly mm, about mm, me. Mm. Yep. Eight years, for eight years you were a teacher. Yes. Then at what point did you go into ministry? Um, I taught from 20, mm. 2011 uh, to 2018. 2018 January actually is when 2017 God spoke to me three times, but three I, times beer, I ignored, <laughs> mm. I, I totally ignored mm -hmm. the call because mm -hmm. I was wondering how am I going to survive? Mm. How is it going to be? And then I remember this specific day I was teaching a mathematics class. I was a mathematics teacher. So wow. I was teaching, handling a mathematics class. So immediately in the midst of the lesson, that was 2018 in January, I remember very well. Mm. I felt that urge to teach has been lifted from me. And so I also troubled and I went to tell my boss today, I feel I have not delivered totally in this lesson. Then I feel this is what God is leading me to do. And then immediately my boss told me, I knew it was your season of transition. I wanted you to obey God. Even the, uh, so my even boss, the knew boss knew it was my season of transition. And it was you who was not hearing. Yes, I wasn't uh, being obedient. obedient. Yeah. So that's how I resigned from teaching in 2018. Mm. Then from then, I've been in ministry. Actually, I was in ministry before then. Mm. So now full time is mm. actually from 2018 now, mm. till date. The journey be. I usually want to ask how was the journey be. Um, the journey as as Moso and I began, mm. it was not easy. Quitting from teaching a payroll and coming immediately into now a payroll. Mm. It was it was a bit tough for me at first. I remember there was a specific month to Likul and KDF na na koko. A full month and it was tough. KDF but, na koko. Yes. I remember then God spoke to wow. me and told me, trust mm -hmm. in me mm -hmm. and don't lean on your own understanding. Mm -hmm. Till day, I have seen the goodness of the Lord. Ah, hallelujah. Yeah. I, I know it was, it must have been that difficult, so difficult yes. to make that decision. Yes. I'll come, I'll come back. Yeah. But it's good that you had the voice of the Lord Kabisa. and you went into ministry. How is it working with teenagers? Uh, uh, now, in ministry, which particular ministry? Um, and how has it been for you? Possibly, I have a passion for teens. Mm -hmm. Majorly, for a big part of my ministry life, I've dealt with teenagers. Mm. That's now for almost close to 10 years, dealing with teenagers, only high schoolers. Mostly we preach in school, so I have dealt with them for 
Yes, close to 10 years. And I can say the journey has been easy simply because you, teenagers need you to understand them. Mm. They basically need you to understand them. Mm -hmm. And once you understand them, then you're able to deal with them. Because teens, if you don't understand exactly. them, exactly, you will keep on, uh, you will keep on either feeling these people, nika wana rada wako tu. It's like niwarui. Yeah, but, it warui, simply, but it's, it simply mm. takes you to understand them in order to deal with them. Yeah. So to me, it's been an exciting journey. Ah. Yes, it's been an exciting journey dealing with teenagers. All right. And yes. I know you also do the high school mission. Very, very. Yeah. Yes. yes. It's part of the ministry that you do? Yes, it's mm. part of the ministry mm -hmm, actually mm -hmm. that we do. Ah, so, so yes. hey, Apple, the teenagers, same was up. <laughs> same was up. And, and uh, now, today we are talking about holiday tips for, for, for students. Yes. Two, two months, two mm. and a half. So, me, 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 I said it's three months. Mm. I know it's, if you it, calculate in like two months, mm. Mm. but with me, it's like three, three months. Yeah. This is a long time. Yes, yes. What can someone do that is that they gonna it gonna count for them? Wow. Yes. So first, uh, maybe uh, you see, being a young person, you mm. ought one day we ought to realize this that we'll not be young forever. True. That's that's it. Like, mm. wherever we a few years ago, mm. it's not the way you are right mm. now. Mm. And the more we continue, kuna vitu zinenanga ziki change. Because one, being a young person, it's you have strength, you have the time, mm -hmm. you have the ability to do what you're supposed to do right now. So basically, my advice. Maybe I'll I'll read this one scripture. Yes. Uh, it's it's um, it's uh, coming from. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter mm. 11 mm. verses 9 yes. and it says something powerful young people it is wonderful to be young mm. it is it is wonderful to be young mm. enjoy every minute of it <laughs> do everything you want to do <laughs> take it all in yeah. but remember that you must give an account mm. to God for everything you do. Sinasema, do all things. So simply it says, mm. do all things. No, no. Unajua kumeko ile notion that you cannot enjoy in God. Mm. The Bible has acknowledged that you enjoy. But in the confines of, there is a perimeter you're not supposed to cross. Because uh, as a young person now, mm. time, time niko very, time niki to very, uh, critical. And if we are not able to use now the time wisely, then we end up blundering. Because ukiangali wa seko Bible, talk of akina Daniel, talk of akina Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, talk of akina David. These were people that were young, just like you and me that are watching us today. But you ought to realize one thing. One, wali realize ni nini wakondani yao. One, because you have a purpose in you. Now, because yeah, your purpose you see, if you realize what you carry, then you become careful with whom you hang around with. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Bible says bad company corrupts good morals. Mm -hmm. So right now that we are at home, it is not everybody that you should hang around with. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. your destiny, the path of your destiny is only for you. Mm -hmm. And anytime you bring people, now, uh, that leads me to another thing. You see, you can realize Kiona Beba, then association yako inakuwa very critical. Mm -hmm. Because one, you ought to understand this, Miriam, mm -hmm. that um, association in a little impartation. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So today if you walk with three drunkards, you become the fourth drunkard. <laughs> that is automatic. It's very automatic. You yeah. only attract the people of your kind. Yeah. So right now, you know, I, I realized when I was a teacher, teachers invest a lot. They teach, they mentor, they do all that. But when we come home, most of us don't realize one, that kuna kitu precious mm. ndani yetu. You see, if you realize you carry, you, you carry gold in you, then you become careful to preserve that gold. Mm. Yeah. Gold is very precious. And that is how, as children of God, we, we, we are born of God. There is something divine that we carry in us. There is something unique that is inside us. Mm -hmm. No, no. Mm -hmm. So one, this is, this is time, yes, to rest. Mm -hmm. Time it to rest. Rest, rest yeah. is so key. Mm -hmm. 
as a young person, take time to rest. Mm. But even as you rest, know you are supposed to read. Mm. Mm -hmm. Rest and read. Rest and read. Mm. The third thing, know you are supposed to reflect. Mm -hmm. What am I reflecting? I'm only 12. Now, you, you <laughs> see, when, when yeah. you, you ought to realize that to, to, to like, de destiny, if you don't look back, to look at now what made me to be where I am right now. Mm -hmm. Some of them have closed school. Mm -hmm. Maybe the grades they got were not good mm -hmm. or they were good. They have to reflect, how has school been? What am I supposed to do to change? But I must say this, this is not time to recreate. Mm -hmm. Recreating meaning? Passing. This is not time to... to, to <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say it as it is. This is not time to sleep around. Mm -hmm. It is not time to sleep around. Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, I, I normally say out here, there are, there are, <laughs> there are wolves mm. that were waiting for those that were in school. Mm. People that were mejichunga, or medumisha usafi, or medumisha takatifu. But there's no time to recreate. Mm -hmm. I tried to scare the teenage mm. pregnancies. You remember during COVID, that yes. thing was just another thing. Yes. Because simply because, yeah. wasewa mm -hmm. ku understand, ninini wanafawafanya. It's really not time to recreate right now. Mm. This is really time to read, to rest, to read, to reflect, mm -hmm. to, to uh, and, and, and just now re-strategize what is next. Yes, 2023 is around the corner. Yes, and because of the energy you have, I believe right now kuna camp, ziko, ziko. Kuna, kuna, kuna concerts zinafanywa. Kuna mentorship zinaendelea. Mentorship zinaendelea. Mm. Mentorship is powerful mm. because if you cannot be under an authority, then you can never be an authority. Mm. That's a fact. Yeah. If you cannot be under command, you can never command. Simply like that. So it is only people that have been under others that when it comes, you see, you'll not be a follower forever. But as a young person understand this, you will not be a follower forever. There is a time you'll be a leader and other people will follow you. Mm -hmm. And mark this, God is not mocked. What you sow, you will reap. So right now, mm. sow the right seeds. Sow so the right seed. Yes. Yes. And this burden doesn't fall on students alone. Yes. Parents have to play their part. Very true. Yes. And this is the time where parents need to play, to be very close with their, with their children. With their children. I know they usually leave their children to, to, to school, to the teachers, where uh -huh, uh -huh. But uh, this, this is a long holiday. Yes. I'm sure the crash program, they used to have like one week holiday. Mm. G two weeks, you can understand at two weeks. Now the crash program is over. They have two months to with their kids. Yes. Yes. What can you advise the parents? Um, you see, one as mm. a parent, you must understand this. Uh, I, I know to maybe our toy, msienda inje kucheza, don't go hang around with friends and all that. But we we fail to realize to me watch our world mzima Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The entire world is in this phone. Yeah. So you can say we am toy msienda inje, but like kuna everything kuna tiktok call them all those kinds of everything the social media and every everything so as a parent you have to understand that the bible says train up a child in the ways of the lord mm. and training up a child one time is so critical with them mm. remember uh, is your time ya yes you want chips take mm. take go buy mm. this time to spend time with them by the way, children need attention. Mm -hmm. As much as to know, nanga nika wataki attention. attention. Children need attention And so a lot much. of it. Very. Mm -hmm. The second thing, as a parent, be careful what you do around that child. One time I was handling this case and I was uh, uh, handling this girl I mentored. Mm -hmm. and, and then she tells me, I don't have a problem obeying and loving my parents, mm -hmm. but I can't trust them. How? I can't trust them simply because uh -huh. one, the environment you to yali kuwa raised in, aliona budaki akichapa madaki, uh. aliona mama akichibu budaki. Mm. So ali grow in a very hostile environment whereby, aku kuwa in a position to understand that yes indeed kuna 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 atmosphere. You know, how a child grows up is simply pegged on even the environment they are in. Mm -hmm. Create a conducive environment for this kid mm -hmm. as much as possible. Some of them wana wakirudi shule, they've left home has just it's it's another it's mm -hmm. like hell. So in chaotic, it's hectic. It's very chaotic. Yeah. No, no. Uh -huh. And when they come home, my advice to parents, 
don't begin asking them first. The first thing I'm a figure. Mm. Now let's go, Nini. Mm. <laughs> like you know, immediately kwa yom toya likuwa me fail, immediately umem push. Because we ought to realize this, as much as they've done that exam, that's not the end of their destiny. Mm. There is something great still in them. Mm. And at times when you get them, even before you ask them about results and everything, mm. get to spend time with them, get to tell them how are they doing, how was school, all that. And I believe it's going to be an amazing holiday. Mm. It's your time, you're going to be an amazing holiday. Ah, good thing, good thing. Spend time with your <laughs> child. Take una, them for holidays una, you una, can. Yeah, te, good thing. Take mm. them for holidays as well. Take them well. for holidays. You see, you're going to be an amazing holiday. Yes, yes. Exactly. <laughs> Yes, I was, I was interacting with some teenagers and they were like, I me, I messed up. Huh? Mm -hmm. During my holidays, this whole day, messed up. How do I come back? You can speak to that teenager. Wow. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, the Bible says, though a righteous man may fall seven times, but he still comes up. The, the, the victory is not in the falling, but in the rise. Ah, nice. You want to realize that the Bible does not say God loved the church. He said God loved the world. The same way God hates that drunkard, loves that drunkard, mm -hmm. is the same way he loves you. In fact, God does not hate the sinner, he hates the sin. Oh, that's the difference. He doesn't hate you, he by the, the way. He hates the sin. He simply hates the sin. Mm -hmm. So if you're able to realize that you did this mistake, go back to God. And repentance is not saying, by the way, God, I'm sorry, and I'll not repeat again. Repentance is returning back. Mm -hmm. It's taking a U-turn. Mm -hmm. If you are going this way, you come this way. Mm -hmm. So they still hope. Know that God loves you. That is one thing that is so powerful. Know that God loves you. In spite of anything that you've done, mm -hmm. the love of God is so great that it covers this multitude of sins. Yes. Yes. We can clearly see this deep passion in you, oh, <laughs> teenagers. Tuneza kapa, tukusikize the whole day, nikuwet, yes. But time is not on our side. Yeah. Yes, I know we'll be sharing the word today and even praying with the, those that are doing the exam. Yes, finally, just this one. Madam Director, this one. This one, I was forgetting. Guys are sitting the exams. Yes. Any advice for them? Um... Joshua chapter 1 talks of Joshua when Moses had died. And God simply tells Joshua. He gives Joshua the assurance. Mm -hmm. You will have victory. Uh, no man will be able to be against you. But he tells them, be strong and <laughs> courageous. Mm -hmm. That's my word this morning. As you go to that exam, be strong and courageous. What does it mean to be courageous? It means to be bold. Mm -hmm. It means to be fearless. Know that the victory is already assured. Simply meditate on the word of God mm -hmm. daily. Don't let it depart from your mouth, but meditate on it day and night. Keep on mm. confessing it. Keep on saying what God has said. If you are the head and not the tail, keep on declaring that. Amen. Victory is assured. Amen. Yes. Was your notebook? Mulisha Fikiwa. I hope Mandika tips one, two, three. Is this is a massage? I want to recreate. We go inje. We go strategize. We reflect, and mm. you know what? Just being there, and also for the parents. Be there for your child. Create an environment for them to flourish. Mm -hmm. And you'll be a blessing to this. This generation, by the way, they hear with their eyes, not with their ears, mm -hmm. their eyes. So be very careful. Have that in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Kevin will be sharing with us the word today. But before that, how can people reach you? Uh, on Those Facebook, that want to interact with you, yeah. On Facebook, uh, Pastor Kevin Kip Korir, or Kevin Kip Korir. Mm -hmm. Still the same on Instagram, uh, Pastor Kevin Kip Korir. Mr. Ingia Twitter and TikTok. But anyway, Pastor Kevin keep career across all social media platforms. Interact with him. If you're a parent, you're wondering who to talk about Tanzania and any holiday. Pasti ya kuapa kona ma solutions. So just head over to his DM. They are going to DM you. Very. Please answer them. Kabisa. Kabisa. Mesha sema.